What up YouTube family? I'm back with another video. I really just wanted to come back and check on you all. Um, have you reevaluated your faith? Um, man, this coronavirus is still going on in the land right now and um, everything shut down. I talked about a lot in my last video, so if you haven't watched it, please go ahead and watch it um, and check that out before you watch this one. Um, if you're new to my channel, I will talk about mind over actions briefly. I will talk about a lot of the things that I talked about in my last video just to um, bring some clarity to it. Um, now, for those of you, um, hey man, I'm just going to say straight out, you might not like this video because I'm coming for that heart posture. I'm coming for those people that uh, know the word of God and, and, and aren't standing up right now in this time of need, in this time of providing hope, in this time of showing that you really have that authentic relationship with God and speaking on it. See, man, one of the hardest things that I had to learn is that the devil has a hold of you when you can't find the words to speak. Um, and just throughout this process um, and during this time, man, I've been really struggling with just finding the words to speak. And I've been really having to dig down deeper into who, you know, I am and my relationship with God to just find the words and find where to go and where to pick things back up just from everything that I'm dealing with. But at the same time, um, man, my happy place is spreading the word of God. My, my peace is talking about God. My foundation is God. So when I'm not doing that, I'm not at peace. Um, and it's not that I'm battling myself because I actually said this in Prayed Up. If you go back down on my page and you look at the video called Prayed Up, I actually talked about um, this in my in my Prayed Up. The verse was, um, the battle was won, but the war has just begun. I'm loaded with my guns, but that's my tongue. Um, so let me start with what I'm going to talk about today before I go on that because I can talk for days. But a lot of people would not look at me and think that um, that's the case. My weakness actually was my speech. Growing up, dealing with all the things that I dealt with in my life, that was my weakness. That was what I was so afraid of. That was what I was so um, uncomfortable with. Um, so today, this is just going to target why I feel like so many of God's people are being pumped by the devil right now. And I just got to keep it real. Like we being pumped right now. Um, again, one of the ways that you know the enemy has got a hold of you is when you know something about God and you don't speak it out of your mouth to help somebody else in need. And that's what eventually um, when we walk with God, there's growth. Uh, there's a process. And then there's um, going out and teaching what it is that you know. Um, these are the steps as it pertains to that relationship that you eventually build with God. And that's the first thing I want to start with. Relationship and not religion. Why is that so important right now in this season that we're in? Because if you take everything that you're seeing right now, God has taken away church gatherings, um, movies, um, all the idols that we tend to worship in today's society, culture. Um, I will go on my Instagram page and I will see a lot of men my age and they're, they're posting and they're bragging about their outfits, their clothes, their money. We be so quick to talk about the blessings that God gives us, but we don't be quick to t talk about our relationship that we have with him. Um, now you can know somebody and not know them, truly know them. Now, I have 700 and some friends on Facebook. I don't know everybody. I know their name. I know of them, but I don't know all of the people that follow me on my Facebook. And that's what God is saying what's going on with his children right now. A lot of a lot of us know him. But the thing about it is, is a lot of us are living in fear. A lot of us are dealing with our past, our insecurities, the things that we will not bring to nobody and we won't even bring them to God. And God is saying that all he wants to do is to help you change that dynamic of what you have been shaped into to reshape the way that you think in your mind and to get you to begin to act in accordance with his will. Um, I struggled my whole life with just my insecurities. And when I got to that point where I felt like I was on that edge of finding my purpose, I kept getting discouraged. I kept getting this, this, this feeling of like, why do I feel so alone? But it's not a feeling because it's true. There are not many people my age that will stand up on their faith and proclaim their love for God on social media or networks. We are children and as God's children, just as any child, we wish to do what we want to do. God is a father that only 
wants to provide instruction for you to be able to have direction for his purpose and his will for your life. And at this point, I've been in the process of reevaluating my faith and I came to the conclusion that I wish to serve the Lord with all of me, with everything that God has given me. Because before I was lost and now I'm found. Before I didn't have the words to speak and now and then I became um, a spoken word artist. Before I used to try to rap, but now I rap in a different way where every, every word can be felt and not just heard. Um, and that's just what God has done for me. And, when, and, and, and just like I said, like when I got my new car, it wasn't about me saying, oh, I got a brand new car. I struggled with making that video because I bought a car that I couldn't afford that God is still providing for right now to this very moment. Why do I keep going back to that thing? Why is it so important? Why is it so significant? Because I know I didn't do that. I know that came from God. So have I made many mistakes in my life? Absolutely. But those mistakes do not define the person you are or the character that is in you. You have to make a choice to be better and not bitter. Now, relationship over religion. Ain't no more church gatherings. God is simply asking you to sit at the table, reevaluate your faith. Now, just put yourself in somebody's position right now that may not have a job. And if you're watching this video and that's you, I hope that God blesses you. I hope that you take this message sincerely and I hope that you turn to God and, and allow him to be your foundation. But imagine somebody that worked their whole life towards a career and has gotten a degree and has went to school to do this one job. And now you can't do that job because of everything being shut down. Men need three things in life, meaning, purpose, and peace. And I promise you, you will not find that if you are not in alignment with God's will for your life and if you do not seek him first. I know this because for 28 years of my life, I had this independent mindset, this poverty mindset, this attitude. I can do it on my own. I can go out there and make money. I can go out there and live a life. I can go out there and have a nice house. I can go out there and have a beautiful family. That was my mindset. That was my ideal. That was the makeup of what I had went through that shaped the way that I used to think. And it was not until I developed a relationship with God. What is a relationship? And why is it different from religion? Religion is a pattern. Religion is, let me go to church and praise God. Let me give two, three dollars in this offering plate. But there's no consistency in that commitment because you're just going just because you think that's the thing that you're supposed to be doing. And then when you get something in your life, you just like, oh, well, thank you, Lord. Uh, you blessed me and I got this and I got that. But we be so quick to talk about the, the materialistic things that we have, but we don't talk about the inner characteristics that shape us to be in God's will or for God to help us be closer to him and build that relationship. And these are the things that Mind Over Actions is about. It's about the inner work that I had to go through as a process of becoming in control of myself. I couldn't control myself, that's number one. Because I tried many, 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 for, for many years I tried. And when I tried controlling myself, I lost control. Many times I blacked out. Many times I did things that I never thought that I would even be capable of doing or do. And that's just the truth. But as a man of God, if I hide my testimony, I hide what he's really done for me in my life. And when people say, oh, well, how do I come to God? Maybe maybe one person is watching these videos. Maybe two people, maybe, maybe nobody at all. But at the end of the day, if I was to leave tomorrow, I'd be like, hey, Lord, look, I know I did what I was supposed to do. At least I was trying. At least I was going hard for it. At least I was sacrificing. At least I was like every day. It's, it's me waking up, opening up my Bible. That's relationship. Uh, submitting. As a man, I had to submit to God when I didn't know how to submit to anything in my life because my life was filled with unstable situations. So relationship over religion. When you reevaluate your faith, put these two things into two different categories. When we're in relationship with our girlfriends and our wives and things of this nature, what does that mean to you? Because we'll go and post a picture of our girlfriend or our wife on our Instagram and our social media, but we won't talk about our relationship with God. God has to be the first person that you commit to before you can commit to anybody or anything in life. Um, there are people that will access their free will and they live in different 
paradigms and they have different makeups and they have different drives. But everything that you operate out of, your mindset, whatever it is that you have, God has blessed you with it because God made you. So there is no if, ands, or buts about what God has done in your life because he has. He has. And I believe that everybody has a moment in their life where God has literally spoke to them or came to them or showed him, showed them who he is. And we all have these moments. I believe this. I strongly believe that we all have had those moments because I had them throughout my entire life. But I didn't know how to have a relationship because I didn't even know me. I had to get to know the inner work of who I was. And I did this through reading. I did this through writing. I did this through music. I did this through uh, expressing myself. Because as a man, being raised uh, in a lesbian household, there's many things that could have happened to me or, or that many paths that I could have chosen. But I always lived my life based off decision right and wrong. If I do this, there's going to be a consequence for that. If I do this, it's going to be a consequence for that. If I do this, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's decision-based. God won't force you to come to you. But when you do, it is not about the religion. It is about the relationship. And God has taken away everything that we thought that we wanted. And everybody's just sitting in the house reevaluating things like, man, what am I going to do with my life? And, and I've been doing that same thing. And I'm telling you, I, I got to the point where I was literally about to just say, no, nah, I'm done. I'm not about to do this no more. But for what? I didn't do all this reading. I didn't do all this inner work. I didn't do all of these things for myself because it's really not, it's really not about me and my position. My sacrifices and the things that I have learned is for the betterment of other people that are going through these things that I know that people are going through because throughout the process of the jobs that I've worked, throughout the life that I've lived, throughout losing parents, throughout being born with AIDS, I have been blessed beyond reason just to have teeth in my mouth, just to have five fingers, just to have a nose to breathe through. Like, I'm blessed. I couldn't ask God for anything other than my purpose. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else shall be added unto you. But we will not get to that point. And this is what God wants people to see right now during the process of this coronavirus going on. Who are you serving? Because if it's not him, you're going to be led astray. Um, next topic. Mind over actions is not about making money. So those of you that have been watching my YouTube videos and you've been like, well, where is his direction? Where is he going? What is he doing? I literally have been patient and I have been just waiting on the direction that God has been leading me. It, it's been a process. If you go down and you look through my videos, you will see the process that God has been taking me through. You will see the growth. You will see the, comp the more confidence in my speech. Um, when I first opened my business, I had absolutely no idea that God would eventually give me the three main points, a purpose statement um, and, and direction just from there. What has been holding me back? The ups and the downs, the should I do this because people aren't listening? Um, uh, uh, is this right? Does God really want me to do this? I'm submitting to him. So that's why I am not trying to build this off of my own will, because I'll fail if I do that. If I try to go out into the world and make this something that God doesn't want it to be, then I fail. And then I'm doing it for my own benefit. This is why I don't uh, talk about, you know, like my video, share my video. In half of, ha half of my videos, I hadn't even done that. It was just like I, I went through like learning process and it was like, okay, you got to ask for it. They won't do it. You know, this, this, this and that. No, I'm going to be authentic and I'm going to speak from my heart. I'm going to speak from what I know God has done for me in my life. Um, I really didn't want this video to be long, but I just feel like the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. But it's mind over actions is not about making money. It is about saving souls. It is about helping people get past themselves to develop a relationship with God. Going forward, again, I will be releasing my purpose statement. Um, God is angry with those who know him and hide it. God is, he's, he's, he's saying... So many people worship me on Sunday. What, what about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? What I'm telling you out of my mouth 
is that I would not have made it through my situation had I not been opening up my Bible and getting a word from God every single morning. And I mean, I was doing this faithfully. I mean, the first year I ever had a tithing statement was the first year I ever had been blessed beyond reason in my life. And that would be 2019. The only year in my entire life, and I am now 31 years old, I have had one blessed year. I guess you could say, I wouldn't even say materialistically. I would just say as far as growth um, and just developing a deeper sense of self, which I never had because in 2018, I did a lot of that inner work. And in 2019 was really when I started um, talking about the inner work that I was doing. Um, but at the same time, God is just tired of the fake. He's, he's, he's. I used to, I used to, and I'm going to be honest with you, I used to look at people and be like, why is it that you are proclaiming God? And I would feel a way, like, I, I would honestly be like, why are you saying that you got to, like, you love God and this, this and that, and you not really living it? I'm not even going to go that route that I was going to go, but it's so many people that know God, but will not submit their lifestyle to him in order to change because see there's three things pertaining to mind over action generational curses spiritual warfare and the lack of accountability that we do not take adam did this in the garden when god asked him why did he eat the fruit he said the woman you gave me gave me the fruit and i ate him he didn't take accountability for the fact that he still ate it when god told him not to the problem is Men are being raised with sympathy and not empathy. And our women are being so tormented by the lack of guidance that men are getting and don't have. And it's just a never ending generational curse and cycle that we are going through and living in life. It's as simple as that. There are people that proclaim the love of God and they still speak vulgar profanity out of their mouth it don't mix you either in or you out and when you in you have to go through a process of growth if you want the blessed life that god has for you and that's just facts um and 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 i feel like god tore down all of these idols that we out here worshiping for me and my walk i always knew that god was there just from the time that i was seven years old and just out of nowhere i said to myself it don't matter what i go through i'm gonna be somebody but my being somebody was a worldly somebody god had to get a hold of me and say that's not the way son that's not what you really want see i didn't know what i really wanted because i didn't know myself and i didn't know my creator because i'm a creation again i'm gonna say i'm gonna say that again i didn't know what i really wanted because i didn't know myself and i didn't have a relationship with my creator because i am a creation i give everything that i am today to god because i knew who i was when i was not with him i had to go through the process of being vulnerable but transparency is for the real g's and i'm just coming to speak the truth i don't know who i could be talking to i'm just speaking the truth I've been very discouraged lately on speaking and, 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 and on just continuing what I feel like God has put on my heart to do and what I feel like he's called me to do. It, it's, it's not about me. Me as a person has been removed and I'm okay. This is me fulfilling the purpose that God has for my life and that's me speaking on the things that he's done for me. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And um. Uh, my next topic I want to go over is, is the problem, the problem is people want to live for this world. Your happiness is in your authentic, consistent, unashamed relationship with God. That's where your true happiness lies. Uh, you could be happy in life, but people with money ain't happy. People with money kill themselves. People with money go through uh, 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 periods of depression, anger, anxiety. Spiritual warfare is a part of what's going on inside of you. 
So in prayed up, prayed up is how I came up. It don't seem like a lot to you because you can't see. In so many ways, he changed me. Cause you chasing things that have an end, like living a life of sin. Confused, I know, but get your mind right and let it go. Man, those words, those words was from God. Words that I couldn't speak until he opened up my eyes to see, not of this world, but in the spirit. And I have a saying that I've come up with that, that basically says, Lord, teach me how to live in the spirit while I'm here in the flesh. This is why you've got to let go of cussing. This is why you got to let go of sex outside of marriage. This is why you got to let go of your attitude. This is why you got to let go of your anger. This is why you got to let go of your frustrations. This is why you got to let go of your fear. This is why you got to let go of your anxieties. All these things are blocking your authentic relationship with God. All those things are in the way. I've overcome those things. And I'm here to tell somebody that if you trust and you believe and you put it all on the table and you go all in, God has special things in store for you. And that's outside of the materialistic things that will come because of the blessed life that you will live in accordance with God's will for your life. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else shall be added unto you. I'm going to give y'all another truth. After I pay my rent this month, I'm going to have about $85 in my account. No cap. No lie. That's the new word I guess everybody been saying. I don't know where that came from, but I'm just speaking true. <laughs> um, man, look. But I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not sitting in stress. What I've been dealing with is just the simple fact that I was discouraged. But at the end of the day, if I don't talk about my truth, then I'm living a lie. And it's as simple as that. God wants to restore the relationships with his children. Have you reevaluated your faith? I wish to serve the Lord. God first, mind over actions. Y'all be blessed, never stress. Peace.